Hello everybody, Mr. Razor here. Today I thought I could show you guys some tips of on uh, when you snipe at people. If you want to see how far something else is from from you, um, this this requires a map, and uh, basically that's it. I'm going to show you two tips on how to snipe. The first one is using the map. If you take up the map, you can see these um, the squares on the map. Here's one square. Is another square. I know a lot of people know know about this, and uh, you want to use the maps to count count kind of the range. And one of these boxes are a hundred meters. So if you can use your eye to measure about how far, oh, or how long one of those one of these uh, maps are, then you can take your character or where your character is. Usually in Daisy, well always in Daisy, you can't see your own character on the map, but you, you gotta use some reference points. So basically on this video I'm, I'll use this hangar over here. Because if I look in the game, I know that this hangar is over here. So and I know I'm about here somewhere. So if I wanted to shoot someone that's about somewhere over here or on this hill, the South Sniper Hill. I can use these um, the boxes to measure with my eyes. So I know about one one box is about this big. If I use that measure measurement from from my own character to about here, which is one box, and I want to go to the south sniper hill. So this is one. This is basically a hundred meters. Two hundred meters. Three hundred meters. 400 meters 600 meters 700 meters so if someone is laying here by the road close to the road basically if I set a waypoint right here that should be about seven six hundred meters okay that was 600 meters <laughs> this is not perfect but it works most of the time so this means that about up here that should be 700 meters yeah exactly up on where usually people are laying, that's 700 meters. This works almost all the time. Might take a while for you to get the range, but if you're sitting in one position with all with your squad, you really want to count out some of these um, some of these ranges. Let's say we are let's say we are in Starry. We're sitting on the where's Starry? There it is. <laughs> okay, we're sitting on the Sniper Hill in Starry. That's no be there <laughs> in starry, and uh, we're sitting on the sniper hill. The points we want to know if if someone can s if if someone can uh, uh, flank us or like know where we are, and we want to take them out. We want to count out the range from those positions where we think people are going to come from. So basically, counter sniper hill. That's a that's a usual one. So if someone is laying in these bush lines, you can use the map again to know your range. This is okay. So basically, this is one. This is one box again. 100 meters, 200 meters, 300 meters, 400 meters, 500 meters. So it's about 550 meters to 600 meters, I, I would guess. And this is basically what you do with this. You just count the boxes. So this is a this is this is an easy one because the boxes are aligned with this uh, with this Cabanino hill, so you can just you uh, you can just exactly count the boxes with the lines, which means that that is one two three four five six seven hundred meters, which is cool. Really works. It, it works really good. But if you don't have that time, you can use something else that exploits a bit of the system, in my opinion. Um, there is a thing where objects, at least some of the objects, disappear at around 400 meters. If you if you look at these walls up ahead, if I back off over here, I can see that they are disappearing. These walls, the stone walls that are around northwest, they are disappearing when I move back right here. I'm gonna zoom in in the video so you guys can tell, because if I zoom in in the game you won't be able to, because they respawn when that happens. But Basically, they are disappearing right now, which means that like, where where was I aiming? Okay, just above the house a little bit. So, which is right here somewhere. Yeah. 
All right. You can see that is about 400 meters, which means that objects disappear around the 400 meter mark. Same goes for bushes and some other objects. Uh, if you really want to know exactly every single object in the game that disappears and reappears, you really want to test this out yourself. You can go into armory. The thing you want to do is set the graphical option to um, uh, the object's detail to normal because that is what DayZ use for the range. That, that has the same range as in DayZ so for bushes and walls and shit. So, as you can see, I'm gonna sprint towards this, this bush over here. I'll zoom in so you guys can see that too. There we go. The bush just spawned for me, which means, again, it's about 400 meters. If I would set a waypoint on this bush, which is, uh, I think it was like over there somewhere. Is that correct? I don't think so. It's about correct. Um, I think it's probably there. Okay, well, it's close to 400 meters at least. <laughs> or it's close to where I put the thing. Alright, 435. You can test this on a lot of objects. It works the same in Daisy if the if you put the settings to if you put the setting to normal, which is really good for snipers because you really want you really need reference points when you're sniping. If you want to hit something really far away, you know that if I back off to this, let's say to this plane over here where the stone walls are disappearing for me, or well, I I know that I'm standing over here and I use the walls as a reference point so if I want to hit this amazing shot from <laughs> where the walls are to those trees over there I know or actually now I can take up the map again I know that I'm over here I know the walls are here and uh, the trees are about on this hill which is the same distance from me and the walls so the walls are 400 meters, which means that this is 800 meters. If I want to hit some someone laying on that hill, I use 800 meters as my as my, as my zeroing. And let's see if I want to hit this tree over here. Boom! And it's just above, just under where I shot. So basically, that would be perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's a hundred meter range. I think I put. I think I put my where I think it is over there which is a hundred meters behind exactly yeah okay that is that is 900 meters or no eight, yeah 900 meters so this way this thing works if you know about where everything is it really helps out if you have a map a lot of like if you use all of these things you will probably never miss a shot which that is even far away if you have the map if you have something to reference from and this is a real good way to well, get better at sniping. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, comment below if you have any questions. Um, I'm gonna be answering some questions probably if you guys have any. Uh, or I'll, I'll answer all of them, obviously. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, please. That helps out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll see if we can find any more tips and tricks for sniping. Yeah. Goodbye. Have a nice day.